10 Things You Did Not Know the Use of Did You Know presents Things You Did Not Know the Use of Number 1. The Lettering on a Makeup Pot When you buy a pot of face makeup, you might have seen that there's a mark on it that could show 6M, 12M, 18M, or 24M. You are thinking they are markings that are needed in the factory. No, they are the expiration dates. Using face makeup for too long can result in a breakout, a rash, or infection. These marks are there to let you know when it's expired. Number 2. The small hole between the flash and the camera of an iPhone. In the newer versions of the iPhone, there is a tiny black dot in between the black camera and the flash. That's not there for design and it's not by accident. It's actually a little microphone. This was added by Apple to improve quality of the sound recordings on videos. Number 3. The Strips of an Exacto Knife In an Exacto Knife, you might have noticed the horizontal stripes that run up and down the blade. These are there to extend the life of the razor. When the razor begins to get dull, you can just snap it off at one of those lines and you'll have a fresh new razor to work with. And that can be done up to 10 times, depending on the knife that you have. Number 4. The tabs on the ends of the aluminum foil box. There is nothing worse than needing aluminum foil only to have it fall out of the box and roll onto the ground. But you might not know that there are those two tabs on each side of the box that you're supposed to push in and when they're pushed in, they will go right into the holes of the tube, holding the foil in place when you use it. Number 5. The extra piece of fabric that comes with new clothes. If you've ever bought a new shirt or a new pair of pants that came with a small piece of fabric in the bag, you might have thought, what's that patch there for? If you were to rip your clothing, you'd have a small piece of material to patch the hole with. Well, that's not the real reason the clothing manufacturers include this piece of fabric. It's actually so you can put it in the washing machine so that you'll see whether the washer and the soap will do harm to your clothing so that you won't end up ruining it. It actually is a test piece of fabric. The button that comes with the fabric that is often included is just in case you lose one. Number 6. The extra holes in the Converse shoes. People who wear Converse shoes notice that there are two additional holes in their shoes. They are not intended for decoration, as most people think. Some people think they are there to make the shoe closer and firmer. Well, these two theories seem close to the truth, but both are wrong. The holes are actually for additional ventilation because many Converse styles are high and the more ventilation there is, the better. Number 7. The hole at the end of a ruler. Many people think that the holes on the end of the ruler are there to help you make a perfect circle. Well, yeah, you can use it for that. The hole is small, so the explanation is kind of silly if you think about it. There aren't too many people who would need to draw a circle that tiny. That hole is actually there so you can have a way of hanging the ruler up rather than trying to fit it inside a desk drawer. Number 8. The hole at the end of the panhandle of all the things you did not know the use of. This could be the most useful most saucepans and skillets have a hole at the end of the handle. Most people think the hole is there so they can hang your pan on the wall and they are half right about that hole at the end of the handle. It's a great way to hang a pan. If that's what you choose to do with it, the other purpose of the hole is to put a spoon handle through. If you're cooking and you're stirring food, whatever you're cooking is going to get all over the counter unless you rinse off that spoon every time you need to set it down. But if you put the spoon through that hole, it will hover over the pan and that would prevent anything from dripping. Number 9. The arrow on the side of the fuel gauge icon. There is a small arrow on the side of the fuel gauge icon on almost all vehicles. The icons are there to let the driver know which side the gas tank is on. Whichever way the arrow is pointing, that's the side the gas gauge is on. Whichever way the arrow is pointing, that's the side the gas gauge is on. Since most drivers know which side the tank is on, a little arrow is more helpful to people who are renting a car. Number 10 pom-pom and backpack loop. 
The pom-pom on a hat goes all the way back to the 1900s when sailors were living aboard ships. Sailors would wear the hats and if the pom-poms scraped the ceiling, they'd know they need to duck and they would not scrape their head. The loop on a pocket of a backpack, that's called a hauling loop. They come in handy with people out in the wilderness. However, there's really no need to put them on a kid's backpack. There aren't too many kids out there who are going to be hauling heavy items to school. Subscribe for more.